High Witches, again, trying to just, just get a handle on everything in my life. So, this time around, I wanted to talk about candles, uh, sorry, not even candles, colors, and, uh, I, I have a lot of things on my mind, you can tell, I've got, I, I, I'm into the next video before I'm even into the next video here. Um, so I wanted to talk about, a little bit, we talked about elements, and we talked about their, you know, herbs, and their crystals, and how to call them in, and things like that. Uh, now I wanted to talk about a little bit about color, magic, um, in spells, and things like that. Um, so... Let's get started with that, and then we can talk about candles in the next video, because apparently my mind is on candles now. So, <clears throat> obviously each meaning of a color is different. Um, like, you've got green candles, and you've got, I mean, I've got blue candles and green candles here. I mean, they came in a singular pack, two green and two blue, but I grabbed just the over here. You've got white candles, you've got pillar candles, you've got tea lights, you've got votives, you've got so many different types of candles, it's ridiculous at this point. You've got pillars, you've got jar. Where do you start? Well, I'm going to start with the colors and what they mean here. So the color red is, and I put mine in this little chart, so if that works better for you, go right ahead and do that. That worked well for me, because I will go into... And excuse me while I move a giant ass in it. I'm losing the thing that I need. Of course. I want this book. That's my big book of shadows. That hurt my shoulders. Okay. Um, and we go into my color con correspondences here. And while this is all well and good, it's so much easier in the chart form, I've noticed. So I mean, we'll be transferring this chart to this book. It is so heavy. I do not suggest a heavy, heavy... I mean, if you feel like you're going to fill every one of those pages, go right ahead. Um, I am a beginner witch. Like, the starting witch, first witch in my family that I know of. So, I don't have, like, a hand-me-down book. So, if my daughter or son wants to follow in my footsteps, they don't have to. If they want to follow in my step footsteps, they have. I'm creating a larger book so that they can add to it as well. Think of, for all of you who are old enough to think of, think of Charmed and the big book of shadows that they all add to. That's what I'm thinking here. Um, the smaller book of shadows, I mean, they could still go into, but I have no doubt that I will probably fill up those pages, so nobody else will really have a chance to fill up those. So, like I said, fill knowledge over time, and then have your own individual one. That's what I decided to do. You don't have to. You don't have to have nearly as many books as I do, but if you find you're filling them up quite quickly, you may end up with as many books as I do. Now, mind you, I've been a practicing witch since I was about 13. And that was a while ago. <laughs> um, I will not say how long ago. Though you're going to figure out in August, because I will do a complete video on my birthday, because we're doing a big thing about it. If that gives you any indication of what I'm turning. Okay, so, red is courage, strength, survival, power, lust, uh, immediate and immediate action. They should be burned, but doesn't have to be burned, for one hour. Pink candles are for love, friendship, opening the heart, and calming the emotion. They, again, should be burned for one hour. Orange candles are action, attraction, selling, bringing about desired results, and they usually are about a two-hour candle. And I would... If you're doing an intention spell, you don't have to. If you feel like blowing out your candle is the right thing, blow out your freaking candle. I don't even care. But you can buy them at the dollar store, because I have mine from the dollar store. Again, probably put away. <laughs> but I have a little snuffer, and at like $1.25, that's fine. Um, if you don't want to spend the $1.25, get a color, or, or, or use a smaller candle. <laughs> Easy as that. Yellow is communication, 
selling oneself. A persuasion and attraction it has three hours. Green is for love, fertility, money, luck, health, personal goals, and it's four hours. Blue is creativity, uh, tranquility, peace, and perception, and it's that for three. And like I said, they don't have to be this long. For some reason, I put the burning times on here. Don't know why, but I think I'll just skip over that part now. So indigo is wisdom, self-awareness, and psychic awareness. Violet is power, ambition, tension, spirit, and spiritual development. Black is protection, return to or release, negativity, and power. Brown is stability, grounding, earth rights, and create in create indecision. White is a universal color and can be used for any work um, and all general candle magic. So we will be getting into that in a moment. In a moment. <laughs> um, and gold is prosperity, attraction, and wealth and increase. And that's what I have in this book anyway. I have different, there's, there's so many meanings, but if you feel like a green candle is calm, use a green candle for calm. If you don't even have the necessities to go have a green candle, use a white candle because you're more than welcome to do so. Anyway, that's all I have for you for this video. Blessed be and keep crafting, witches.